Hello and welcome to another update video about XRP. Yeah, XRP continues to be in this sideways range, but um, I highlighted to you that we're likely moving in this triangle pattern. And this is what I want to focus on in this video. Um, not much really, not much movement at the moment on the XRP chart, but we know when XRP moves, then it moves quite quickly and then it takes ages to correct, like we had it here, between the 5th of August and the 7th of August. And then since then, I mean, it's, it's been another, you know, there has been a, a two day rally and then a month of correction. So that's what frustrates a lot of people when, you know, when looking at the XRP chart. But XRP is holding support. We've had a first reaction only in three waves to our support region here between 54.5 cents and 45.9. Um, the rally is likely going to be, yeah, a three wave move in wave D in our triangle pattern. So that triangle was discussed already like one or two weeks ago here, uh, maybe even, uh, I think a couple of weeks ago. And think when here the price failed to break out um but this is still possible you know the the yellow wave count with a direct breakout is possible but there's absolutely nothing at the moment that would tell me that a try that that a third wave rally to the upside is unfolding as per the yellow count this really looks like an Elliott wave triangle uh, at the moment at least and the idea is now to identify the microstructure not because it's so reliable but because it's the only thing we can really do here on this chart not much happening so we try to look at microstructures these are as you know quite fragile especially when we're dealing with corrections triangles and so on and it's pretty much just the range i mean normally i call that just noise here what's happening but the idea is that we um, i highlighted that a couple of days ago we might have bottomed here uh, in this uh, c wave of the triangle and then we are watching for a D wave of the triangle and then another E wave of the triangle. The E wave should also be a three wave move down and should ideally form a higher low. The idea is at the moment that we could be in this D wave in the midst of the D wave. The D wave is just a corrective structure. In this case, a corrective rally in the triangle should stay below the um, B wave top that formed around 64 cents, 64.2. And yeah, it's got a long way there to, to get there anyway. So I think there's a good chance to stay below it. But for now, I'm looking for higher as long as this last micro low is holding here at 52.4 cents. This is the swing low that formed today because it could be that a small B wave bottomed there. Okay, a small B wave and now ready for wave C to the upside if this is the case. We can identify the projection target for wave C to the upside. That's the 100% extension is sort of the first ideal target. This would only take us to 56.4 cents. That's nearly, I would say, too weak for a D wave of the triangle. But that's only the first ideal target. I mean, if we talk about the next projections just above, there's also the 1.236, the 1.618 and the 1.38 extensions. Basically that the C wave has either the same length or 1.236 times the length, right? Um, yeah, or 1.38, or you know, that's how it works. But um, this is a target range that we could focus on as long as the intraday low is holding. Okay, if that intraday low is breaking, it could easily be the B wave goes a little lower. Then below the intraday low, the 6th of September low is going to become the key level because that's then the invalidation point. Um, but that wouldn't have major consequences. It's just that is at the moment my best idea about the microstructure here in this Elliott wave triangle. Once the D wave has topped, the E wave should form a higher low above the 6th of September low before we then break out to the upside. That's at least the current thesis here. Not very trustworthy, but that's my best guess of the microstructure here on the XRP chart. That's the update about XRP. Hope you liked the update. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. And if you really like the content, then please check out the channel membership. Also, make sure that you follow us on Instagram and Twitter for additional content. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.